In a series circuit, the flow rate of charge, i.e. the current, is the same everywhere in a given circuit, and its value depends on the total resistance of the circuit. In such a case, for multiple resistors, identical resistance values require identical pressure differences. Let's take a couple of examples. Here is the color scheme that we use for Castle. Here is a circuit with two round bulbs. This is a series circuit. You can see that one round bulb is right after the other. Therefore, the current that is flowing in every part of that circuit, through the bulbs, through the batteries, even through the top and bottom wires, is the same. And I've represented that current by drawing two arrow tails. No particular reason for the two, I just chose two. Because that wire is connected to the positive battery terminal, it's high pressure red. That wire is connected to the low pressure negative terminal, therefore it's low pressure blue. And the color of this wire must be yellow. Not because it's in the middle in our color scheme, but because for the same resistance, those round bulbs have the same resistance, and the same flow rate, the pressure difference across this bulb must be the same as the pressure difference across this bulb. And you can see from our scale here that red to yellow is two jumps on the scale. Jump, jump. Yellow to blue is two jumps on the scale. Same resistance, same current, same pressure difference. That holds true if we have, let's say, a circuit that looks like this. Four round bulbs in series is going to have more resistance than two round bulbs in series, so the flow rate will be smaller, so I've represented it by one arrow tail instead of two this time. High pressure red, low pressure blue. The colors of these wires then must go orange, yellow, green. Same resistance, same flow rate, same pressure difference. Red to orange is one jump. Orange to yellow is one jump. Yellow to green is one jump. Green to blue is one jump on the pressure scale. It also happens that for resistors in series, different resistance values require different pressure differences. For example, these two bulbs, a round bulb and a long bulb, are in series. We know that because they're in series, the current must be the same everywhere through the circuit. I'll symbolize that with a single arrow tail. That pressure is high pressure red. That wire is at low pressure blue because it's connected to the negative battery terminal. The electric pressure of the wire between the bulbs is best represented as orange, which means that the pressure difference across the round bulb is only one jump on the pressure scale. The pressure difference across the long bulb is one, two, three jumps on the pressure scale. Those pressure differences have to be different because a round bulb has less resistance than a long bulb. And to get the same current through a round bulb, you don't have to push very hard. It's a small pressure difference. To get that same current through a long bulb, you have to push much, much harder. The pressure difference orange to blue is much larger. If we were to flip these two bulbs, again we have the same current everywhere. The top wire is high pressure red. The bottom wire is low pressure blue. Now what color would this wire be between the two bulbs? in order that the current be the same. It would have to be green. Again, that's because long bulbs have high resistance and you have to push rather hard to get the same current through a high resistance long bulb compared to a low resistance round bulb. These ideas hold true as well for portions of circuits that are wired in series. For example, the two bulbs at the top of the circuit, the round and the long, are in series with this long bulb at the bottom. In other words, all of the current that goes through this top round and the top long, when it gets to this junction, will split, and it'll split evenly. So 
we're going to say one arrow tail through each of these round bulbs. Then the current comes back together at this junction right here, which means the current through this long bulb is the same as the current through this long bulb. So what that means is the current through this round and that long and that long is the same through each one. Now, to get the same current through these two bulbs on the top, we have to push much, much harder across this long bulb, which means that the pressure difference across the round bulb should be smaller than the pressure difference across this long bulb. Similarly, since long bulbs have the same resistance as all other long bulbs, if they have the same current, they also must have the same pressure difference. So the pressure difference between wires B and C must be the same as the pressure difference across wires D and E. Let's summarize the basics from Castle 3. The current is the same for resistors in series. If the resistors have the same value of resistance, then the pressure difference across each of them is also the same. If they have different resistances, then the pressure difference is greater across the higher resistances and less across the lower resistances.